Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys have not yet subscribed, make sure you guys turn on that bell notification so don't miss any video every time I upload. So today we are doing a red cut crease to talk about a brand that I recently got cut up with and I want to show you guys about it and talk to you guys about it and I'm doing a red cut crease to color match the shirt that I got. I'll show you guys more in the end of the video. Hi guys, so before I begin this video, I do want to try out a couple products with you guys and review them how they work for me. So here are the products that I will be using to try out. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder in shade 100, um, translucent. And I also want to be trying the Maybelline Superstay Activewear 30 Hour Foundation in shade 125 Nude Beige. And I also want to try out the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. So like I was saying, this is a Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I want to try this out to see how good this is. I heard good reviews about this and I've seen a lot of influencers use this spray. So it made me try it. So I would want to try it. And I heard this Pierce Bar Soap for your eyebrows. So to make your eyebrows, to make soapy eyebrows, to make them slick. So I do want to try out these four products with you guys and see how they work for me. And I'll let you guys know. So I am going to be going in with my bar soap to do my eyebrows and this is how the bar soap looks like. So I am going to spray a little bit of setting spray on it. After saying um, a little bit of setting spray on it, get your spoolie and just rub it. After rubbing it, you're going to get it on your brows and shape them the desire you want and comb them as I am doing. So this is how it looks so far. This is one of them done. Let's go ahead and go in with the other one. Make sure you um, go back and apply a little bit more soap. To see however you want. And at the end you shape them however you like. Just like so. Like that. Okay, so after that, you're after you're done shaping it with your spoolie and everything. So far, I rate this bar soap a uh, nine out of ten. I love it. I love how I shaped my eyebrows and it kept my hair down. So after that, I'm gonna go in with the Beverly Hills um, eyebrow gel in shade dark brown and the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil in number twelve. So I start off by outlining under my eyebrow, like so. So this is how I start off. If you mess up right there, it's okay. I messed up. Um, you can go back and when it's time to conceal your eyebrows, you can go ahead and correct that little spot right there. But I outline both of my eyebrows first from the bottom and then I go in from the top and then I shade a mullet. So I'll be back when I have both of my eyebrows outlined. Okay, my eyebrows look a little bit crazy, but let's go ahead and shade them in and I'll be back when I'm not shading them. Let's go ahead and shade them in and I'll be back for the concealing process. So after that, you are, I am going to go in with the Medium Sand Elf 16 Hour Camel Concealer and this Wet n Wild Concealing Brush to go ahead and conceal the under of my eyebrows. Okay, so after you can see that you see how I have a little hair right there sticking down that the bar of soap didn't get. So I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. brow gel and go ahead and comb it once again to make a more slim back. Like so. So after you put your gel, make sure where I had that black. So do you guys remember how I had extra product right here? Make sure that black dot that I had, it was because of the extra product that I had applied where I messed up doing my eyebrows. So as I put extra gel to apply more, and this is how that it looks concealed from the bottom. Go ahead and shape it to your desired shape. And I am concealing, making the concealer go all the way down, like so. Okay guys, I see you back when my eyebrows are done. 
to conceal the upper of my eyebrows i am gonna go in with the elf hydrating camel concealer uh satin finish in medium sand and i'll be back okay so after that that your both eyebrows are concealed we are gonna go in with the james charles palette and with this red shade right here and i'm a oh, i hate myself sorry and i'm gonna be going in with this wet and wild eyeshadow brush okay guys i see you back when my eyebrows are done to conceal the upper of my eyebrows i am gonna go in with the elf hydrating camel concealer uh satin finish and medium sand and i'll be back okay so after that that your both eyebrows are concealed we are gonna go in with the james charles palette and with this red shade right here and i'm a oh, i hate myself sorry and i'm gonna be going in with this wet and wild eyeshadow brush so like i said i am gonna be going in with the james charles palette with this red so go ahead and pack it on your brush and we're going to be applying it on our eye eyelid just like that i'm not going to be applying so much in the front because that's where i am going to create my cut crease so where i'm more worried about is just patting it right over here and if you guys like i was saying if you guys hear a little person sleeping in the back that is my son so sorry but yeah like i said let's go ahead and pat it all over all right so you are gonna i am gonna pat some in the front a little bit just to like get that reddish in the front also but very little i'm not gonna like pack it as much as i did over here and by a little bit i'm gonna start going in circle motions to go ahead and blend that out just a bit be careful when applying red because look where I got red at all on the top of my eyebrow. I wasn't like thinking to apply red up there, but since I did get it all the way up there, let's go ahead and blend it out all the way. Just like so. Okay, I'll be back when I apply the both reds on my eyelids. Okay, so after you both have your eyeshadow on, I am gonna go be go in with the uh, Wet n Wild concealing brush again, and I'm going with the Revlon concealing and correct in shade white. But before that, I am gonna go in my Mudra cleansing water to go ahead and clean the um, inner eye of my eyelid to make it a little bit more clean, just like so. Okay, so after you have, you clean that up just a bit, you are going to get your concealer and go ahead and pat a little bit on to your brush like so. And then we're going to go ahead and start concealing right, oh, right here. Since I didn't like how that wet and wild brush was giving me um, to pat my concealer, so I did go in with the more Jaclyn Hills J43 brush to go ahead and try to create that crease. And let it where you cleaned it. Okay, so after creating that cut crease like so, I am going to go in with uh, the Naked 2 Urban Urban Decay brush. I'm going to use the flat side and go in with the white eyeshadow from the James Charles palette and pack it right onto where I have my white cut crease. So after that, I am not going to go in with any more red. I'm going to use the one that is left over on the brush and go ahead and go inward. To go ahead and blend it out just a bit. Like so, however you like. Okay, so I will see you guys right back when I have my other eye done. Okay, so after you have both of your eyes done, I am going to go in with a little bit more red and go around 
my cut crease to like make it stand out with a little brush like this like so okay so after that I am gonna go in with my elf matte putty primer the white one all over my face like so Okay, so after applying your, um, my pretty primer, I mean, I am going to go in with the foundation, the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear, 30 hours, 120, in shade 125, in nude beige. So I did put a little bit of foundation, now I am going to apply a little bit of concealer under my eyes. Like so. And I am going to go ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it all out together. So I'm really kind of not liking this. It's not blending. Like, like the foundation is really, really hard to like blend out. My beauty blender is wet, so I'll be back when I could blend this all out. Okay, so I'm still trying to blend this out, and it's so hard to blend out. Okay, so after 30 million years, I finally got it. I noticed that you have to apply the foundation as you go, not how I did it, because it dries up so quick. So, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't clean my hands. I just broke my black eyeshadow. So, yeah. So, that I was saying, you have to blend and apply as you go, because it dries so, so fast. Okay, so after that, I am going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder. And I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush. I got hiccups. Um, I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush. And go ahead and pat it everywhere. So, like I was saying, let's go ahead and apply some all over our face. Okay, so after that, I am gonna go in with the more 8F contour palette. I'm gonna contour, blush, and highlight with this palette. So let's go ahead and go in. Okay, so I blushed a bit, I, I mean I contour a bit, I am going to go in with a little bit of blush. Like so. And with the brush like this, I am going to go in with the brightener on right here. And I am going to go under right about here. To brighten up. Like I said, I am going to go in with a little bit of brightener to contour, I mean to brighten up where I contour just like I'm doing. Just like that. Just to brighten it up just a bit. After you do so, I am going to go back with my fluffy brush and go ahead and remove all the extra powder. After that, I am going to get a highlighting brush and with my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, I am going to spray my brush twice and I am going to go ahead and go in with this highlighter from the same palette that I contour and blush. Oh, look at that highlight though. Look at that glow. I absolutely love this palette. I love it. And after that, I am going to curl my lashes to apply some falsies. Like so. And I am 
gonna get my eyelashes and I'm gonna go ahead and apply them. So as you guys seen, my eyelashes did not want to stick. So yeah, let's go ahead and apply the other pair. And I'll be back. So after applying your lashes, this is how it looks. But last but not least, I am gonna go in with some red lipstick from Maybelline in shade uh, Matte Kiss 72. Your lipstick, I am gonna go in with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And let it dry for a bit. Okay, so this is the final look after applying your setting spray. And this is how it looks. I hope you guys are enjoying. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification to not miss any videos. So I did want to go ahead and go on here and show you guys this Platinum Scheme shirt that my brother-in-law came out with. This is his merch. This is his style of shirt that he came out with. He has it in red. He also has it in navy blue. He has it in a whole, a lot of different colors. He is coming out with new merch. So I would like you guys to go out and check out his store and go visit and go purchase some of his shirts and some of his products and go ahead and follow him and support him. Thank you.